Hi guys, this is Ganesh Naik, creating a small video for people to understand what are the major reasons why a lot of students failed in the FRM level 2 or May 2022 exam. The first reason, most of the students, they underestimated the operational risk book. The reason being operational risk book is slightly theoretical. It's a huge book. So when you read for the first time, people feel that I am understanding the concept because it's primarily easy. Okay, but that is the reason when they get the confidence on the book, they don't come to the book again and again and when they reach to the exam or before the exam they realize that they are not being able to remember the concepts okay so a lot of people they underestimated the operation risk book the second reason being that a lot of people they started reading only one book or they started going through only one book now this might work in frm level one because the content is very small but for level two when there is 100 chapters my suggestion is to start out with two books Okay, and two books, why? Because if suppose you are bored in one content, it will help you to boost your uh, thinking, boost, boost your concentration while preparing. And also, there are certain books which are huge in terms of size. So, it will take time for you to cover that. So, doing one one chapter daily for that book will help you to reduce that pressure of doing the entire book in one go later. And generally what happens is, because people don't start two books, and they focus primarily on say market risk and credit risk and at the end they, they have very less amount of time left and they have to move through operation risk liquidity risk and current issues very fast and because of this also their preparation is not full the third reason is that a lot of students they prepare without a proper mentor and a guidance okay because level two is very different from level one level two requires you to change your strategy constantly which book you're going to prepare first Okay, what order you're going to follow, when are you going to solve the question by, which chapters you can skip and do later, which chapters are important in terms of concepts, okay, or which questions are important in terms of questions, okay, that can also be very very deciding factor for you, because I'll give you an example, a lot of uh, the level 2 calculation driven questions, they came from the book, but very specific chapters they try to cover it, okay, so having a proper guidance or a mentor can make a very big difference. One more important factor, the fourth factor which I feel is that people failed because of it because they underestimated smaller chapters. So there are chapters like for example anti-money laundering or outsourcing related chapter which are one or two pages of itself. Now when you read the chapter from Swager also, you realize that there is nothing much to read about or there is nothing much content given. But in the exam they might connect this chapter with some bigger chapter, they might give some case study, a smaller case study to help you solve. Okay, but over there you are not prepared for it. So the challenge uh, which what a lot of students were facing is that when they were reading the first time, they kind of read the smaller chapter once and they did not read it again. Assuming that the uh, content will not be tested from that chapter because it's very small. And that proved wrong in the exam. Okay, finally the last and the fifth step is that solving of question bank is very very important. Okay, because the content is very very huge. Okay, when you do the reading for the first time, that is where you go make yourself familiarize with the content but when you start solving that is where you actually start uh, getting that concept in your mind and you tend to understand a lot of new things which are not there in switcher so having a very good question bank to solve and prepare is going to be a very good deciding factor in your exam and i generally suggest whatever question bank you're solving plus that and do binary turtle questions also even though they are slightly hard but it will help you to uh, understand the concept or topics which are connected to your reading and you can improve that in when you are do the revision also. Okay, so these are the top five reasons why people could not clear the FRM level 2 in May 2022 exam. I hope this video will help them help all of the students to prepare better for the next exam, the November 2022 and the May 2023. Okay, so best of luck for your preparation. And if you like my content, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, and if you want me to cover any particular concept or topic then do let me know in the comment section and we'll try to address it as soon as possible. Thank you.